Okay, let's take a look at how do you start these predictions. We're going to look at setting the game day. So, of course, the calendar comes up. Since I parsed uh, all the data this morning, uh, prior to uh, game day 20, or April 20th, I'm going to, we'll pick uh, today's date as the game day. Uh, so, again, you know, depending upon what date you wanted, you would come up here, select the 21st or select in this case the 20th this will always default at uh today's date and of course the game day here on the left uh will be updated correctly for the 20th so that's how you set up the game day now it is a feature create your teams let's take a look at this real quick so here you have a home team and a away team and i know on the 20th uh the mets are playing san francisco so we can come over here and first let's uh, select teams and uh, let's say I did want to pick the Mets now a couple of ways to populate I need to populate this field up here where it says home team I need to put the, a real team name you can copy this you know pretty much put a copy put it there or I, or if you hit the right mouse key uh, you've copied that, and you can double-click up here, and the New York Mets will show up. Now, it's got to be this syntax, so you want to make sure it's NYM, just like the syntax is uh, uh, in, uh, when, you pull, when you pull all the teams. And then uh, for the away team, let's come back here to uh, San Francisco. And um, again, we can do a right mouse. You can copy it or double click here and you'll populate San Francisco. So let's go back here to Mets. If I hit populate, what it will do is it, it'll take the first string uh, teams uh, or players. And it will be only the ones that are not out for uh, an injury. And let's populate San Francisco, same thing. Now, all of this is all nice. It's really just for the, the optics. But what's really important is activating the strings. So if you activate the first string, uh, and then it will be only the first string, then only the first string players will be calculated during the predictions. If you want the second string, notice down here, you could see the database actually updating. Um, but again, when you select second string, it's actually going to be pulling the first string and the second string will be activated players. So when you do the calculations, it'll look at the first string and the second string. If you hit third string, then it'll be the first, second, third strings that are going to populate uh, and uh, be used in the calculations. You can deactivate all the strings. Again, if you look down here, you'll see the database actually updating. In fact, these are going from negative one to zeros. So now with deactivating um, all the strings, now when, now when you populate, notice uh, all the players emptied out. And even if you try to populate, you'll get a message that says there's no record matches because there's no... There's no players that are activated. Okay, so you definitely want to activate. Let's say third string. Again, you'll see down here, first, second, third strings are being populated uh, in the database. That, again, that takes a few seconds, especially since it's being displayed on the screen. And then once that's done, now if I populate, first string players will be populated. But again, this is just, again, for optics, no big deal. But what's important is that you activate strings. Otherwise, uh, if you, if you're going to see with the predictions, if you run a prediction with, with all the, with, with only activated players, um, it's important to obviously activate what strings we're talking about. Okay. Again, you can come under help. Help will uh, come up, and you can look at uh, creating teams and how that's all done.
So that's all I want to show you in this video, setting the game date and creating the teams. The next one on predictions will be uh, what's going on when you run the prediction, and then we'll take a look at the report.